whoa, the magic worked. Um, Cause it feels like mural magic. This has been like a dream come true. Um, we uh, started the Arts Collaborative back in um, early, uh, well, it was 2019. Sento was trying to think of a big project that we could do this year, and I happened to mention Good Space Murals. Uh, I'd met Greta in 2018 at a Creative Placemaking Summit in Charleston, West Virginia, and, uh, you know, I just kind of brought it up as a, ooh, wouldn't this be cool, thinking there was no way we could do this. She'd seen how Greta engaged community in her work, and it was like, that's perfect, that's what we want. Uh, the Ross Foundation funded it, and then we got some another grant from the AARP, and, and we did it. And uh, it just turned out so much bigger and better than I thought thought. Uh, we invited her to come for three days in June and we introduced her to as many people as we could find. Okay well there's something really special about coming into a place that you're not from and saying I'm gonna do a mural about or we're gonna do a mural about your town or I'm interested in hearing about you would you tell me who you are and it's like dating and it's really exciting because when you date I don't know if you remember like the very beginning of your biggest and most important relationships, you feel, I feel, like my most shiny self because I'm telling this person all about what makes me really special. And then by telling them that and by sharing in that with the other person, I get to be like, oh man, I'm pretty special. So it's really exciting to hear people talk about their town in that way. So there's a lot of people just like hyping their community. Uh, I love those conversations. Greta going out to Zion Baptist Church was also a great experience. And Cynthia Brown and a contingency from that church, they spent hours and hours painting that mural. Cynthia approached me about it and wanted to know if we, she could, they could meet with us, our church, which is Zion Baptist. And I said, sure. I got a hold of the <laughs> minister and everything, and she agreed, and we had a big turnout for it in, was it June? Yeah, it was June. Okay, June and, and a um, we yeah, and we had a repast, we got to eat. In case you didn't know what repast was. That's what it is, it's eating. <laughs> I was so pleased to see the outcome of her vision to incorporate a lot of what we talked about. This area played an integral part in uh, the Underground Railroad as slaves from the south moved northward, Wood County, which is where we are, next to the Ohio River, was a crossover point so that they could make their way to northeastern Ohio and places like uh, Cleveland. And we had a big open community event. I met with some local artists also. Um, I met with people over here at the Heartbeat Art Studio, uh, actor, uh, the Actors Guild folks. This was a big riverboat town, and so the riverboats would come and they would have entertainment on board and people would gather at the riverboats and just kind of like the old musical showboat and, and, and then the trains came to town and since we were a main hub of the trains, vaudeville came here, on, we were on the circuit, so vaudeville came here. And we had, oh, three or four very big vaudeville houses, one right across the street that was huge, almost an entire block. Our theater's right next door and we do seven shows a year and we do all kinds of shows and I think this represents the kind of work we do. So that's good. So we had our first painting party on Saturday, the Saturday after we arrived. We got in late on Friday night and by Saturday afternoon people were ready to party. We, um, I think that we expected maybe, you know, 25 to 30 people, um, just because it was gonna be a new concept. When we had come before, like, you know, there was all this, this beautiful hype around, this mural is coming and here comes Greta, and then at the beginning, all you're doing is having conversations with people. So I always feel like, guys, there's gonna be more. It's gonna be more interactive. It's gonna be fun. Um, so I never knew, like, I never know people are gonna show up, and they did. Um, Greta and her team created a giant 30 foot by 40 foot paint by number. 
and they've cut this into five foot square panels and numbered each one and the community right now is doing that first layer of painting. She describes this as it's the Monet, it's the impressionistic layer. So this is the first layer of paint and then as the mural is attached to the building, these panels are gonna be tweaked and refined and additional layers of paint added on to make it really pop and three-dimensional and beautiful. Have you guys ever done a paint by number before? Yes. Okay, this is a paint by number. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to a table, you're gonna check it out and you're gonna see what the numbers are. When you pick one number each. Let's go to the big spot. I've been checking with them and they will give you a suggestion. Yeah, and then you guys go to these guys, these are my crew, and they ask them for your number. So let's say you're a six, you go, I want six. They'll give it to you and you fill in all the ones that are on that number, then you go back for another color. Please. Awesome. Thank you. Yes, welcome. So this is what the mural's gonna look like, man. Right here. Oh my God, that's wonderful. Yeah, and then so all these are five by five panels. And then you can identify them from here. Awesome. Is that wild? That's so yeah, it's gonna take plenty of time. Yeah, right, so it's okay. like that's how there's all those days. It was amazing how many people showed up. The energy of the DJ, the perfect weather, the getting to be outside and just painting next to people that, uh, as far as I could tell, weren't used to being in kind of the same space. And um, watching like the magic of, oh cool, we get to go to an event and not talk to each other. And this counts as interacting and this counts as community making. And then within like an hour of painting, all of a sudden you are, you're just more comfortable and then you're comfortable next to people, and then all of a sudden you're talking to people. We're just on these walls, getting everything ready for install. We probably won't install now until Friday, because it's supposed to rain. But there's plenty of mural paint. So we opened up the studio and, um, we were on, you know, it's always like a fine of like this, this, uh, this tension of we have certain goals that we have to meet every day. So we have to, I mean, I think I was painting, you know, probably 300 square feet, maybe 350, maybe 400 if I had a good day of mural a day. And it is the hotel, Blennerhassa Hotel, on this woman's blouse. Trying to incorporate different buildings that are very Parkersburg into the fabric of the community that show. We're gonna be painting a whole bunch, so we're gonna see if we can crank this guy out and finish this up and then hang a bunch of new pieces. The table set up and people painting and community members coming in to paint that base layer, layer that underpainting. And that was so sweet and supportive because people watched me and they were like, oh, okay, this isn't, this isn't like some light puff thing. This project is for real. And there's, an, and I think that they got to experience in the energy in the studio was, oh, this is serious. It's not serious as in hard, like hard, awful, heavy serious, but this is serious as in, you know, these people are coming, they're saying they're in our community and then they're gonna put the, the, like the sweat in, the time in to actually like, cause they valued this to make this a really high quality piece. Um, and people stepped up as a result. People, as new people came in, other people that were seeing their painting would guide them in getting what they needed and showing them how the mural was set up and giving them the whole spiel so that everyone could just paint. And then we all just listened to music, talked a little bit and kind of went into our painting zone. And that zone is magical. Just when we got the studio really popping and people were finding their flow, we finished with the community make component. So there's a lot of people that came in and were like, oh, it's over? This part's done? And we're like, man, we had no idea that we were gonna get this done this fast. And a week is incredible, it's something to celebrate, but there was also, um, you know, like a bittersweet component of, man, I wish that we could spend more time together. And that really was building the energy of the mural. Um, so. Well, I guess there'll have to be more. We're gonna lock, we're gonna lock this door and then we're gonna go install some pieces. It's gonna be great. <laughs> the 
first pieces are going up. We're very excited. It was raining this morning. It's not raining anymore. Fall has arrived. It's cold, but perfect mural weather. I need a pretzel and a slushie. Yeah, Nicole really needs a pretzel and a slushie. I've been thinking about it for over 24 hours. Yeah, she talked about it yesterday and today. It's, it's a real need. So what you're seeing right now behind me is the install process. And basically how they do it is they take the pieces of polytab that have already been painted by the community and then overpainted by me. Um, and they put gel, acrylic gel on the back of them and acrylic gel on the back of the, or on the wall. And they stick it up like permanent wallpaper. This is Nova gel and it's really intense glue. And we're just adhering it so that it stays forever. And then we're like getting the grooves of the wall to show through again underneath so that it looks like it's painted direct. Once it's all up, then we're gonna come over at any place where the seams don't match. Then we do an overpainting on that and then we'll seal the whole thing. Throughout the time they were out there on those lifts, you know, you could hear cars honking and people yelling great work. You would also see people in the parking lot across the street just parked watching. Wonderful. Are you kidding? It is beautiful. Are you kidding? It's, no and way. it's so awesome to be a part of that. There's no words. Yes. There's oh no man. words to even describe I never would have believed in all my life that I would have had something to do with something like this. It's just like, whoa. It was pretty beautiful to see like how many, how actually being on such a busy street helped lift us because we were um, just kind of cheered on the whole time. I mean, who has a job like this where everyday people are telling you how amazing you're doing? It's really awesome. So uh, that was sweet. And I think really, especially during the install component of gluing up the pieces was really supportive for Kenny and Nicole because that's like tedious when you're just like bam, 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 trying to glue, glue, glue as fast as you can. Um, so to have that much kind of uh, all that cheerleading happening, I think that really helped us meet our goals. We're getting really close to the end. We are doing the overpainting. All the stuff is glued to the wall. Mm -hmm. We are just going over the seams and making it pop. 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 Connects with our current uh, Parkersburg the way it is. I mean, it's it's a nod to theater. It's uh, a nod to the Pooch Park because it's got a couple dogs in it that are running out of the wall like they're going into the Pooch Park that's right across the street. And then it also talks about the hopes and dreams that people shared with Greta. They would love to have a more diverse and inclusive community. They want our children to stay and feel part of the community and help grow a strong Parkersburg. And so the mural for me speaks to our past, our present, and really our aspirations for tomorrow. I love that there's like a little girl and she is just like claiming her power and, um, and casting this magic art spell of what she wants to create. It's such like a girl power moment. It's like a being able to truly claim that whatever gifts you are given uh, are enough. Uh, my favorite part of the actual mural itself is that boy's face smiling and uh, looking up to the sky. But my favorite part of this whole process has been the community painting parties. Good. Okay. I think that I have the weirdest job and the coolest job in a lot of ways. Uh, I 
have this, they, I come in and I say, okay, there's this thing we're gonna do, we're all gonna paint a mural together, but it's gonna be way bigger than that, and it's going to build community, bring people out, it's gonna like bring us into empowerment of our play, like uh, ownership of our place, it's gonna empower our youth, it's gonna empower our elders, it's gonna bring us all together, um, and then I don't ever know if that's actually going to happen. And I watch every single project as the mural magic unfolds. And I think what it gives to me is just this super sense of, um, of gratitude to be in the, the position to be a vehicle for this work. Like there's, I have very little ego around this. Like uh, I have a big enough ego to sustain this work. You have to have a big enough ego to be able to perform and paint something, you know, on stage in front of a bunch of people and hold that your artistic vision is gonna be good enough, right? I have that ego, but I also um, have like a real sense of what my role is in this work. And it is very small. Like it is like very much the building of the vehicle and holding and sustaining of the vehicle while other people come in and make it magical and make it of the place. So I don't know if any of that makes sense, but my, um, I just get fed by these projects. I mean, it is a gift to me when people share about their stories. People tell me about their first interview for, for work or when they met their husband or when, or what their zodiac sign is. Those are gifts to me and I do not take any of that for granted. It is beautiful to have friends in every place that I've gone to make murals that aren't fluff friends. They're like, we've, we've shared a lot of time and intimate stories. And um, I, I'm just, it, that feeds me. 100% that feeds me. Anytime people show up to do this work, I'm like, oh my God, this is the biggest gift. So I'm just um, beyond belief grateful to get to do this work. And to have something that's like so weird as being good at painting be used to um, facilitate big community making. That's the biggest gift. This is a there we go. banana that is sleeping. These are our bananas on um, a little date. Yeah, but it's gonna be a quick date before they have to split. But out.